Hello and welcome to PTC Express Video Tip of the Month. My name is Leo Green. Today's tip, we're going to talk about five-sided surface patches, specifically with ISDX, but the technique also can be used in boundary blends. A perfect example of this would be at the root of this five-spoke uh, five hug. Of course, the number of spokes doesn't really matter, but the idea is that we have a blend that goes on and the resultant patch that needs to be constructed is five-sided. Let's take a look at how this might come together. I'll go before the style feature here and let's turn on the curves as well. Alright, so here is the area that we need to blend between this edge, this one here, coming down to the middle in the crotch, across and then up again making five edges. Well okay let's go straight into style feature create a new style feature and um, let's just make a couple of curves to to make out the five sides that we need to have before we can do the blend. We'll create a curve that will be planar and the planar face that I'm going to choose in this case choose planar this one here and um, click and hold shift key down release the shift key let's make another curve middle mouse pick a different plane click and hold shift key release shift key and so on right click and hold will go straight to edit definition now because we want this end of this curve to be tangent to the curve we just snapped it to. And um, these lines can be very useful. I like to turn them off at first. As well as, while we're talking about that, let's go to the styling preferences and turn off the grid. Cleans it up a little for me. Turn off the data planes. Don't need those right now either. Right click. We want this one to be normal to the front plane. Let's look at this next curve. This end, right click, tangent to its parent, as well as this end, tangent to its parent. Right, so here are the five edges that we want to blend together. One, two, three, four, and then five. So, so how do you do that? What can you do? Well, this, this is the approach that I recommend that you take. You make a surface that might go straight across. Let's pick this edge here, control key, pick the other edge, and we have a surface that blends straight across. Uh, the icon length is a little long, let's make these 0.5 for now. And with the shift key down, I'll turn off this tangency. Now, this gives us a nice surface that blends straight across, although it doesn't really do really what we want it to. So let's take a look at a different one. So let's delete that, put another surface that goes from this curve over to this one. Middle mouse. This one looks a lot smoother. I kind of like that. It's not good to use right now because it's only a two-sided surf. We need four so we can control the boundary conditions. So we've got one curve, another curve, three all together. Let's put in that fourth one. This one will be a free curve and this one will be let's connect it to this newly created line go straight across to this one drop that down go straight over to edit definition because we want this to be normal to that center plane and over here we'd like this one to be normal to okay now let's look at how this curve plays out you see how it kind of dips in right here? I'm going to pull this out so it kind of matches or mirrors the edge of the contour that we really want, middle mouse. Then I'll go straight to making surfaces. The control key down now. We'll pick up these four boundaries, middle mouse. Now I've got tangency, I've got normal, the surface looks really good, but now I've got this really thin sliver of a space that I need to fill in. 
So is this helping me yet? Well, watch what can happen next. Make a curve now that's a curve on surface. And I'd like to attach this curve on surface to this edge, not the curve that's there. So let me go and hide that one. Make a curve on surface. Click Shift. I want to snap to that edge, bring it here. Click Shift, Snap and then go straight again to edit definition where this needs to be tangent to its parent and this one normal to the plane so this can give us a nice well behaved trim curve that I can use then for a trim pick the surface middle mouse pick the trim curve middle mouse pick the piece I want to get rid of now I've got a four boundary. One, control key, two, three, and four. That blends in very nice. So we've taken the five sided boundary, put in two surface, and trimmed one to give us two four sided boundaries. We can call that done. You see how nice that is? Well, I hope a little of this made sense to you. Let me, uh, let me hide this one. And we'll resume the rest. After this, it's uh, mirrors and merges to bring out the rest of the shape. Well, I hope a little of this made sense to you. And I hope that next time you run up against a five-sided boundary that you'll uh, think of a new way to apply a nice, smooth, and well-behaved surface patch. Thanks for your attention, and hope you enjoyed this video tip of the month. So long now.